A woman is reunited with her dog tonight after she says a local humane society gave her pet to the wrong person. Valina Jones explains why police had to take care of the dog twice before he was returned to his owners. Valina's in the news center with the story all new at 6. Valina? Well, Charlotte, Beloit police found the dog once, but when they say the Humane Society of Southern Wisconsin gave the dog to the wrong person, they tracked down that person and decided to keep the dog until they could reunite him with his rightful owners. We already have one baby that's far away from us. We'd like them both to be home. With a baby in the NICU and a missing dog, this isn't the way Emily Schmidt thought she would be starting a family. It was a whole emotional roller coaster. You know, we were really, really upset, um, frustrated, confused, and wondering what we can do. Prince! Monday, Schmidt was reunited with one of her children. Oh, I've missed you! Her dog, Prince, went missing a week ago. Boy, police found the one-year-old pit bull the same day and gave him to the local Humane Society. Schmidt said the shelter denied having the dog at first, but later that week informed her he had been picked up by someone else. And it's very frustrating and scary to think that someone could just walk off with your dog who you spend all this time with and is a part of your family. Beloit police say the man who claimed the dog was developmentally disabled. He was able to give a description of Prince from a Facebook post on the department's page. Because social media is so quick to get a photo up, a lot of those questions that would be safeguards against this are now kind of no. The Humane Society asked for vet records, pictures of pets, and identifying features, but say few people have those, and they're left to make a judgment call. Probably 20% of the animals that are redeemed have vet records. Uh, the other 80% of the animals we redeem, and even nationwide, statewide, a good percentage don't have that. So we're relying on um, a photo or just a description. And My frustration with the whole thing is we had uh, proof from the police department. Now, with Prince back home and her son Armani getting stronger, Schmidt says she's one step closer to making her family whole. We're hopeful that within the next two to three weeks he'll be home and our family will be complete. Now, while the Humane Society says they feel horror about, horrible about the incident, they will not be modifying their procedure due to this situation, but encourage pet owners to put name tags, microchips, and license their pets to easily identify them if they get lost. Now, the society claims this is the first time they have had an incident like this. Valina Jones reporting tonight. Valina, thank you. Dan County.